I appear to be blocking off the camera with a rather big box. And what exactly is in the box? That's the same question I had when I went to the post office and found this large thing sitting there. When I did open up the box, I just cut the top, even though it's a little harder to kind of see everything right now. I did cut it open and it found just a random selection of things inside that I think a viewer actually sent to my attention. Before I went any further, I did notice there was an envelope at the bottom. I was going to wait, in fact, to actually open up the envelope on camera. But whoever did take the time to send this box, big thank you, big, big thank you. Because again, there's a lot of cool, there's a lot of cool stuff inside here. Now, you may not be able to see all of this, unfortunately, as of right now. I'm just going to, first of all, remove the bubble wrap. Is that something I can easily do? Maybe maybe it's not. I'm just going to remove the bubble wrap. I think there's a pin, actually, that came off in the process. Oh, yes, there's a pin right there. Let's just grab the pin. Does this give us any indication? No, it's a Mario pin. Mario! Inside the box. But if I went a little bit further, in fact, actually, there's comics. There's some stuffies or... That's what my daughter at least calls them, stuffed animals. I'm just going to reach off to the side here, get the camera out of the way. Yeah, there was an envelope at the bottom here. Now, I, well, maybe it's not even, em oh, okay, it is envelope. I haven't yet opened this, so I'm not even sure who this came from. There is a name on the outside, but, uh, and then there's also a few little other things also I recognized inside the boxes. Something that a viewer had mentioned to me a while ago, and I'm kind of thinking to myself, Maybe that was actually sent by them. So there is an envelope. Let's just quickly open up the envelope here and see exactly what's going on here. And inside, we have ourselves a letter. I'm excited. Let's have a look here. Hey, Spot. Viewer Richard here. I hope you get this before Christmas as this is my gift to you. Last time I sent you the Bane... Oh, that's right. Last time he sent me the Bane Scribble Lots DC figure, figure you always wanted. Richard, that's correct. I remember that. Well, this time I have once again done the same along with a few other surprises or a few surprises. Thanks again for the awesome content and happy holidays. Richard Rodriguez, P.S. The Superman film is going great. That was something else, too. Richard was working on a Superman fan film. And uh, I don't know if he's actually got a few Superman related things inside, but boy, boy, like Richard went all out here sending me this, like I said, this huge box of stuff. I've still got some bubble wrap in there. Can I tilt the box sideways? Does that give you guys any bit of an idea of just how much stuff Richard sent my attention to, to my attention? Uh, okay, so let's just prop this up here. My backdrop really isn't suitable for something this large. He did send me actually nicely a, a box of Frankenberry. It's funny enough that he actually sent this to my attention because this year was one of the first years ever that I never even went out of my way to get myself some of the monster cereals. Uh, just checking the, is there an expiry date on these? I'm sure the expiry is still good. Let's check this here. It's April, 2024. Okay, we're good. Uh, on the front, there is Frankenberry. On the back, the other cereal mascots. There's Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry. But now introducing the newest one, Carmella Creeper. I don't think we ever got Carmella Creeper, unless there's a Canadian viewer that could maybe just tell me that that was the case. I don't actually think that we did, we did get a Carmella Creeper here in Canadian stores, but that's really cool. I'm going to get into that Frankenberry cereal. Oh, let's see what else we have in here. We have a whole bunch of comics. Uh, we've got ourselves as well a Captain America figure. I did see some of these figures, but I, I honestly never picked them up. The one I was actually the most interested in was getting the Venom. But I never saw Captain America, so that's going to be perfect. Uh, I really don't even want to open this up. I'd like to really keep this on its, uh, you know, still keep it intact because it has sort of more of a vintage look to it. It says it's from Kenner down below, but it's from Hasbro actually on the back here. You got a little card read up that you can cut out also as well. What else did he send? Boys, he went all out. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab these comics. I'm going to, you know what I should really do? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to just kind of cut things off right now. I'm going to kind of take all the contents out because I know it's a little hard. It's kind of hard to kind of really make out everything that Richard took the time to send my way. So I'm going to do a little bit of a cutaway. I'm going to cut right back and we'll kind of have a look at things all already set up here on the station or at least on the backdrop. So hold on a second. That took actually a lot longer than I was expecting, but we finally, I finally got all the contents out and let's look at everything that Richard sent my way. We already looked at the fact he sent over Frankenberry. I'm going to be opening that up right after this review. And also as well, he sent over the retro Kenner themed Captain America, but then he also sent all this other stuff as well. And just before I actually, I did want to talk about the stuff that Richard sent kindly my way. I did also draw, draw attention to the fact that he is working on Superman Jubilation. That was the name of his fan film that he was writing. And uh, this is scene one, take two. 
the date that he was doing this. I, he says he's doing well with it. I would really be interested. When you get the chance, Richard, and you finish the movie, let me know, because I definitely want to check it out. It shows the name of the camera that he was using, Richard Rodriguez, and the date uh, for this was at least January 2021. So I'd say, you know, action. I don't know. I'm not a director, but, you know, again, it's, it's like one of those little, oh, and he signed the back of it, too. Very cool. You never know. Richard becomes a professional director. This might be worth something down the road. So I'm going to put that right over there. Uh, he also sent me, I think this is, it's a hamburger from what I'm guessing, although the hamburger seems to be white. Uh, on the back of it, I kind of thought for a second it may have been a roll of sushi, but this smiley little face and an equally smiling uh, top of the bun, I guess. These are two best buddies that just hang out all the time. Very, like, I'm going to give this, my daughter's already uh, probably going to be eyeing this right after I bring this upstairs, but yeah, that's really cool. And a little, uh, you know, a little, I guess, is that an avocado or a pear? It could be a pear. Maybe it's a pear. Nice little stuffy though. I'm probably going to be seeing if she wants that. Uh, something I'm definitely going to be putting on. I don't, I don't really have a backpack, not the backpack I really take around with me. But I'm probably going to be clipping these into my car. He sent over a GameCube controller tiny GameCube controller that actually does work. Uh, it wouldn't work up with, you know, if you, you wouldn't be, be able to hook it up with a, an actual system. But the fact it has little tiny joysticks that do move around, it, it just clips on, so I can clip that on. And uh, attached to that, he also sent over a Game Boy. Is that a DS? I guess that would be a DS. A black DS. And it does actually have working buttons. Yeah, that's really neat. I'm going to hang these either inside my car, so you'll know You'll know my car by the fact that it has these dangling inside. Or I might actually even put them in the game room that I'm slowly trying to build. I say slowly. There's some work still to be made for that. He also sent over a screen ghost face. Now this comes to us from Cinemark Retail Exclusive. I have yet actually, I don't think I've ever really seen this specific ghost face. For a second, I thought it was actually a one of those dunnies. You know, the ones that Kid Robot make, the kind of stuffy versions. Because I have one of those. I don't have this one, though. And being a big fan of ghost face, yes, that's going to go with my ghost face collection. So thank you very much for that, Richard. Um, he also sent over, you probably already see here off to the side, he sent me uh, Dr. Robotnik or uh, Eggman. Sent me over that. And along with that, I think that's Shadow. He sent me a nice little stuffy of Shadow. So I'm put that over there as well. As I kind of move, make my way across here, he sent me a little Ninja Turtle, Donatello to be exact. I don't know if this is Kid Robot or if this is another company that's done this. Maybe it's Funko. Does it actually say anything on here? I don't think it says anything on there. But a nice little Donatello. He knows I like Donatello. He also sent me like one of the world's smallest uh, Stormtroopers, which I would imagine would be quite, quite harder to shoot when you have a Stormtrooper this size. The uh, cardboard on the box is a little on the damaged side, but it's nothing I, nothing I can't fix. Got myself a little stormtrooper. And he also sent me a necklace. A nice little necklace that has kind of these little beads that make up make it up. Kind of, you know, in a way, it kind of looks like a snake. Like if I was to wear this around my neck, it looked like I'd be strangled by a snake. And then he also sent me a little pose, Edgar Allan Poe. Little thinkers, Edgar Allan Poe, the unemployed philosopher's guide. So if I, you know, I like, actually just recently, speaking of Edgar Allan Poe, just recently we watched The Fall of the House of Usher, which basically is all kind of centered around, each episode is kind of based on a story from Edgar Allan Poe. If you never got the chance, check out The Fall of Hush, House of Usher. It's kind of from, from the same company that also did House on Haunted Hill, or no, The Haunting of Hill House, and I think the Bly Manor one as well. So this is kind of like, not, not that it's connected, but all kind of the same actors come back for this series. Definitely check it out. One thing I was really interested and happy to see that he packed inside, and thank you so much for this, Richard, is that also continued on, because he had mentioned already that he had sent me over the Bane, but along with that, to complete, or somewhat closer to complete my collection, he sent me Armored uh, Lex Luthor, which I don't think I have. He also sent me a Catwoman, which I definitely didn't have. He sent me one of the Metal Men, and I don't know exactly which Metal Man this is. Is this Mercury? Somebody can tell me. Mercury down below in the comments. And he also sent me Batman Beyond. Thank you so much, Richard, for sending these over. Definitely going to... I have all the other ones stored away, but I still have them. Still have them. So I might actually just bring out the rest of the collection. Of course, they all come with the little display stands. You guys want to see what these look like? You know what? Let's open up. We'll open up one of these. I'm just going to grab my knife here. Cut the bag carefully, carefully. And just dump out here Batman Beyond. Yeah, I looked at, I looked at these blind bag figures like a while ago. And Richard had been listening because I said I was really, I really w missed my chance not getting the Bane. He ended up sending me a Bane in an earlier unboxing. 
Now he sent me over these other ones as well. They have like little, well, they have posability, first of all. Like there's the head, there's the arms, uh, the legs, of course. They also move back and forth. They're on ball joints, so we just pop those back on there. But the idea is you take yourself the legs, they just plug onto the display stands. Probably not easiest to do the first time. There we go. You got yourself a little DC character. Oh, these are so cool. Thank you so much, Richard, for that. He also sent me over a Marvel, um, I'm guessing it to be a notebook. It could be also an agenda book. I certainly need to kind of keep my days a little bit more organized, but it is a memo book so I can make my little memos. Sometimes, actually, you don't even know this, but I got myself like a little note, notebook on the side here of this table. So if I ever want to make like little notes about something I want to talk about in a review, kind of just like scribble those down. And then, and then, if that wasn't already enough, like Richard already went way above what was, it. he didn't even need a, even just a letter, even just a letter would have been fine. He also sent me a big stack of comics. So let's have a look at these. Just kind of bring the camera over a little bit here. He sent me over uh, John Romita's Spider-Man. This is number 11. And he sent me a Spider-Man. Oh, number 10. So that's number 10. That's a number 11. He knows I like Spider-Man. Uh, we've got, this is maxed out part two. Oh, number nine. Don't tell me he sent me all of these. Number eight. Sent me number eight. Number seven. We've got also a Green Goblin standalone. Amazing Spider-Man number 76. As well as Spider-Man number eight. Or oh, Spidey. Spidey number eight. And a Spidey number 11. We've got the Clone Cons Conspiracy Dead No More. Amazing Spider-Man event number four. Also sent me number five. Wow, I can't believe he sent so many comics. Invincible I Iron Man. That is number 593, if you can see it there on the top corner. Uh, he also sent me Invincible Iron Man with Mickey Mouse there on the front. What if Mickey was the Invincible Iron Man? And let's just, just kind of move these all out to the side here. Just because, again, like it's going to be kind of hard to... Can I put that right there? Is that going to stay? Probably not going to stay. Also sent me Silk, number five. Uh, Silk, is that another number five? Two different covers? Is that is that two different covers? Oh, one's a digital edition bonus. This one's just Silk, number five. Silk, number six. <gasps> oh, he sent me Amazing Spider-Man, number 300. The spe special 25th anniversary issue. I had the original Spider-Man, number 300. Um... Oh, not the original one. I had Spider-Man 300 in my hands at the comic book store. That's right. I had it in my hands. And for one reason or another, I went to go get something else. I put it down. And before I know it, I was grabbing other things that kind of just maxed out my budget. So I never got the chance to get 300. Thank you very much, Richard. That's very, very cool. You took the time to send that. Uh, it also sent me Night Terrors Superman, number, number two. What is this? Uh... I recognize Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. I don't recognize the cover though. What is what's going on with this comic? Let's just I'm gonna open this up quickly and just flip through this. Hey, that's nice artwork. Really nice artwork, but what's what's the name of this issue? Does it, it doesn't say anything on the inside? Does it say anything on the back side? No, it doesn't say anything on the back side either. It's night end, night's terror, night's end. Number one. Darkest Hour variant cover. That is a really cool cover. I'm going to make sure. Put that back right away into the... There we go. To the bag and board. He also sent me over number one DC Pride through the years. And one last comic. He also sent me over the Star Wars The Rebellion. Number one. Very nice. Very, very cool. Wow. Richard. What can I say? Went above and beyond. You didn't even, again, have to send me anything, sir. Just just a simple letter. That, that That's usually all I just say. It's like, if you guys want to send me over a letter, something that you'd like to see me, you know, open up and just, you know, read on camera. Hey, by all means, you want to send me a, a picture that you've drawn. But like Richard went a little crazy when it comes to uh, sending me over a big box of stuff. I had no idea he was sending it. Even when I went to the post office, I actually ended up having to go, just as a little side story. I ended up going to where I normally get my mail. And then there was a pickup slip in my mailbox that, I had to go to a different mailbox or a different place, a post office, to pick it up. And when the woman had brought it out, she had put it down on the countertop. And I'm just like, I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, I don't remember ordering this, whatever this may be. And then I looked at the slip and it said the review spot. Well, then I sort of started piecing things together. I'm thinking, well, I, if I had ordered it, I would have ordered it with my name. So this must have come from a viewer, but again, I had no idea that this came from Richard. Thank you again so much, sir, for taking the time to send this my way. 
again, if you guys are interested and you want to send anything my way, certainly not to the extent that Richard has done here. But again, if you guys want to send like a letter, I'm, I'm all the for I'm all for the idea of reading a letter on camera. Or again, if you guys drew a photo, if you want to draw my logo, anything like that, the address is actually listed down below in the video description. But again, a big thank you to Ra Richard for taking the time to send all of this stuff my way. <sighs> I have no idea. I, I'm, I know one thing. I'm going to be trying the Frank and Barry right after this review. If you guys uh, certainly do always want to stick around, uh, if you haven't already done so, yes, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn on the bell notification. You're going to get reminders every single time I do maybe an unboxing, not hopefully to the size that this was. But yeah, if there's, uh, again, if you guys stick around, there's definitely going to be new content coming your way on a regular basis. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And thanks to you again, Richard, for taking the time to send this. As always, I'll see you guys next time.